Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to another mom vlog. What you got in your hand? <laughs> you mean my towel? You don't need the beach towel right now. I'm just gonna comb your hair and get ready for school, boo boo. Yeah. I am currently trying to hurry up and comb Zaya's hair. We're getting ready for school. It is a Tuesday. Brush your teeth, okay. You wanna brush your teeth while I comb your hair? There you go. Brush, 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 brush. But yeah, so today the main objective is to get her to school and to get some cleaning done around the house and to get some, I think I have some editing to do. I'm honestly not quite sure. I need to check my calendar. But also this afternoon, I am getting my Blue Apron delivery, which if you guys have been watching me, you know that I get Blue Apron. If you don't know what it is, it is a meal kit delivery box where they send you all the fresh ingredients and the recipes, and then you can cook the meal yourself, but it makes it really easy. But this time I decided that sharing is caring, and I decided that I really wanted to do something nice for my parents, just kind of like, a random act of kindness just because they've been helping me out a lot like especially my mom helping me with Zaya and helping me with um, my YouTube channel and stuff and I know that I've kind of been stressing her out because I've been getting really like I don't know caught up in you know my YouTube goals and trying to hit a million subscribers by the end of the year and stuff and she's been working really hard to help me reach that goal since she is my manager my dad has even actually been giving us business advice and stuff it's just become a whole family affair where everybody's stressed we stressed about trying to hit a million by the end of the year and my parents are very very supportive and helpful and I just feel like sometimes I forget to uh, thank them enough you know also just because I always talk about how my mom helps me but my dad is supportive as well and I want to make sure that I do something nice for my dad as well so I just decided that today when I get my blue apron delivery I'm gonna share it with them and I'm gonna take it over to their house and I'm gonna cook them a nice romantic dinner for my parents tonight and yeah I just thought that would be a nice thing to do with my blue apron box this time here I am trying to make these parts perfect knowing that it's just gonna get messy at school anyway all right let's just make this snappy let's make it snappy make it snappy I'm sorry did I hurt you you can't be tender-headed when you have curly hair, okay? That's the rule. Do like this and like this. Oh, and by the way, Zaya's first official, you know, tutorial, Zaya's hair tutorial that I posted of showing how I wash and style her hair, that video just hit a million views today. This morning, my mom texted me and said, that Zaya's video hit a million views. Your video hit a million views. You have a, a million views on a video and you're yes. two years old? Yes. Yes. I like it. <laughs> She's like, I know. I'm great. They love me. The people love me. It's crazy that I'm able to make, you know, these videos with Zaya and I'm just filming stuff that we would normally be doing. Washing her hair, combing her hair like I did in the video. It just so happens that I'm filming it and, you know, I don't have to, like, make her do anything. I don't have to make her get up and start dancing or be like, go do the video. It's just, she's just sitting there living her life and I'm filming it because it's just normal stuff. But I'm able to put those videos on YouTube and monetize them and you know, it reaches a million views and the money that I make off of that is going into her college fund. At the age of two already, she's kind of technically starting to make her own money and it's like not actually having to do anything, technically. Cause like I said, she's just sitting there getting her hair combed just like she would on any other day. But I'm able to make a video, you guys support it. Then she gets the money for college, it's like, that's crazy. So thank you guys for a million views on Zaya's video. She will greatly appreciate it when she's 18. You wanna wear those shoes? Those shoes are not really good for, for school though. Those are too cute. You need to wear some more, you know, sturdy, substantial shoes, I feel like. I think you need to wear your little cowgirl boots and I think they're downstairs. Hmm? 
Um, I don't think you need a jacket. It's not very cold outside. Oh, I don't know what that means, but okay. Yeah, we have to put the boots on. Good job going down the stairs by yourself. Where are your boots? I think they are in the garage because they get so dirty. Let's see, can you grab them? Can you grab the pink boots? Bring them in here. I have a clean boots. You have some clean boots? They're not really that clean. Okay, one sock. And two wood socks. And two socks. Sock. One boot. Yeah, well, it's gonna be dirty. It's okay, cause it's just gonna get dirty again. Let's fill up your water bottle. All right. So for your lunch, real quick, we got the easy lunch assembly. I've got this. Basically, it's a bougie lunchable. <laughs> It's got carrots, pretzels, grapes, and cheese cubes. Then I'm gonna put in one of these Go-Go Squeeze applesauce Dilly Wops. She actually really likes these and they're good because you don't need a spoon with them. So I'm gonna throw in some of these little peanut butter crackers as well. That'll be her lunch. Typically I don't put juice boxes in there normally because I want her to just drink her water. You ready to go? She just grabbed the lunch box and ran to the door. Your waffle's not even out of the toaster yet. Wow, you're such a big girl with your lunchbox and your water bottle. Are you gonna catch it when it pops? You gotta watch it, I think it's gonna pop. The wipers on the bus go. Swish, swish, swish. The wheels on the bus go. Is that a good waffle? Yes. Is yummy? No, no, she like the Sandra. Mm hmm. I hear Zaya. What? I hear Zaya. You hear Zaya? You hear yourself yelling? I hear you too. Did you say Buenos Dias? And when you when you get to school and your teacher says, Como estas? What are you supposed to say back? What? You're supposed to say, Muy bien. Yeah. Gracias. Y tú? <laughs> and when we walk in the door, we're supposed to say, Buenos dias. Buenos dias. That means good morning. Good morning. Or you can just say, Hola. Hola. Say, Hola, buenos dias. Hola, That's what they say to you. They say, Hola, Zaya. Hola. You ate all your waffle. Good job. Now it's time to have a fun day at school. All right, so Zaya is at school. Now I need to head home and see what exactly I need to do to be productive for the rest of the day. I've kind of had a bit of a weird start to my week yesterday on Monday. My schedule got thrown off because I thought I was gonna do one thing and I ended up not doing that thing. And you know, I had all my videos planned out, but then it changed. So now I'm kind of like lost in the sauce. Like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna post? Because just like my whole schedule got thrown off. So today I'm kind of trying to uh, in a sense like play catch up so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do if I can think of something else to film today or what to keep up with my posting schedule since I post four times a week I really need to be filming something like every other day 
So it's basically filming on one day, editing on the other day, filming, editing, filming, editing, filming, editing to be able to keep up. And if I don't do that, then I can really, really easily fall behind. All right, guys, home from dropping Zaya off. Like I said, today is kind of a weird day, so I'm trying to still find ways to be productive. Right now, I am going to just do some laundry. Zaya needs her bed sheets changed and her clothes washed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna go ahead and just wash all this stuff. Look at Zaya's socks, y'all. I don't even know what to do. Someone please comment down below and tell me how I should handle this sock situation. She plays outside so hard that even when she's wearing her tall boots, somehow the dirt and the grass gets inside of her shoes so bad and her socks come back looking like this. Like it looks like she was outside with no shoes on, but she wasn't. She had shoes on, just somehow it all gets inside her shoes. And every day she comes back with her socks looking like this. It's actually kind of weirdly not going to be a very productive afternoon for me because I don't have anything to film and I actually don't have anything to really edit either unless I just kind of start editing this vlog already, but I don't even have that much footage yet to edit. So it's kind of weird because I'm working on some sponsored content. So a lot of times with sponsored stuff, you have to wait, you know, wait until you sign the contract, wait until they send you the product, wait until they tell you exactly, you know, what they're looking for in the video. So you kind of end up working on the brand's schedule. So if you haven't heard back from the brand yet, then you can't really get started on the video. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. All right guys, so it's a little later in the afternoon. I actually did find some productive things to do. I was working on some graphics, some graphic design type stuff, working on some merch stuff, but I just had a knock at my door and look what it is. Wonder what it is. Ooh blue apron in the house. All right, cool, so I got my blue apron box, came on time as expected. This is a refrigerated box. There's ice packs in here to keep everything fresh. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it in the box and leave it right here until I'm ready to go to my parents' house. All right, guys, so it's a little later now. It's about, it's almost 5 p.m. If you're wondering why Zaya is not with me after school, it's because on Tuesdays and Thursdays, my mom keeps Zaya after school so I can get some work done. Again, today was not a very, very productive day but it still was kind of productive like I said I did get some cleaning some laundry done and I did get some like graphic design stuff done that I needed to do and then I had a little extra time to myself just to relax to be honest but now I'm going to pay it forward because I'm heading over to my mom's house to cook my parents dinner and uh, yeah so let's go This pan might be a little small, but we're gonna make it work. All right, so, so far I'm feeling confident. I got the rice going, I got the beef cooking. 